Pardon the background noise, folks. Here's a quick little walkthrough on something that was very generously helped. I'm, I'm not sure how to explain it. But thanks to Jim the Trucker, I've got this camera for us to look at today. I've been tinkering with it for the past few days trying to figure out how it works and what it does. And it took me longer to figure out how to put this together than it did for me to work the computer or the programs of this. It's a very, very nice camera. It's got the little red light thingy, so it's very easy to spot when you got it on and off. It's got a couple of different settings. This is your shutter button, like on a normal camera. And that's how you start recording. As of right now, we are recording. And right there is a little red light that blinks when it's recording. It flashes when it takes a picture, but it blinks when you're recording. And this is the rig that I've got running. This is the battery charger that it came with. There's two batteries, one that's in here in the charger charging and one that's in the camera now. This is the sample clip. And this is the rig that I'm recording this song with. And we've got my phone, microphone, flashlight, and a little battery bank I just rubber banded to the tripod. Here is the dash mount kit that I put together out of two different kits. And this is also a sample footage that I will show later on with this video somehow after I do it. It might be a part two. But it's very adaptable. So if you want to go somewhere else, put it on say a chest mount kit, which I actually have one. This comes apart completely. The belt clip that I have, which is this top clip here. I guess let me refresh again. There's a belt clip that goes on this. Uh, it's normally how I carry it, except when I'm in the car, and I put it on this. It's kind of difficult to do with one hand. I'll go over some of the kits that I got with it, or the parts in the kit that I got with it, in just a moment. There we go. See, it's still not working on the string art side, but it works so, on the YouTube side. I don't get it. So then, in the kit, this is the box that came with it. You get a card. Because the only thing it gives me on string yards is general, which lists videos up for comments. A guidebook. You get a watch accessory, which I have mine currently in the bag, a waterproof case, which is in the bag in the car, a couple other little mounting clips. This is where one of the Velcro straps came in. Handlebar mount, or for a monopod, monopod mount. Basically anything you want to attach it to. Here is the back, the ventilated back for the waterproof case, which makes it less waterproof. More clip mounts, the belt buckle style clip in, clip out. Some Velcro strips to attach it to random things. More mounts. And here is some 3M paper adhesive things, a cleaning, uh, a cleaning uh, cloth, a little wire for you to secure it to things like. Uh, with like a carabiner clip or something, or a key ring clip. Okay, so and some zip ties, I'm not sure what those would be for yet. Right Another mount with a, looks like a 5, 10 or a quarter inch thread, whatever the GoPro is. Okay, I'm going down the 
Another mount. Another empty bag where I've borrowed something for the mount we're using right now. That box is empty. Is thing back in here? So is it? Charger cord. She don't have community yet. Sorry guys. I got one or two more things to do real quick. And then this other kit that I got. There's nothing on there. came in a, another little accessory clip, explanation manual I guess, installation manual. A waterproof floating mount for when you put it in a waterproof case and want to go kayaking or something. So it'll float in the water and you won't lose it. This is going to come in a lot of handy. It's a tripod mount. And it's very simple to use. You just take your little doohickey here, connector off your car mount. Put it up here. And then boom. You've got a flexible tripod mount that you can actually wrap. around anything you need to make it so, yeah. stay out of it. That's what I figured it was something to do So say you've got a situation where you're on uneven ground, you can it on, flex it um, to where it's... Say you got uneven ground like that. You, you can flex it like that so it'll do that. Let's say it's not level, you can... Just however you need to get the level. Oh man, I just got a fingerprint smudge on it. You get a couple of mount clips. This is for a wrist strap or for a helmet strap, something like that, I believe. There's a couple of random clips in here. The slide and locky clips and 3M you know, mounts. You ain't rapping on my channel. You got your ass handed. Another one of the 510 or quarter inch mounts. This is another mount. I think this is the. This is the one you put on your helmet for when you're going bike riding. A buckler clip and a 510 mount clip. Or a quarter inch. And this one is going to come in very handy. It's a backpack clip. Or say for a body camera application. Or maybe, you know, your belt, your backpack, your shirt, your coat. A wrench to help make sure you can get all these little... These little dudes are tight. Or loose, however you need them. Another buckle clip. And a couple of these little thingies right here to put the clips together. Yeah, HPR. And put the stuff back in here so I don't lose it. I'm still trying to work on how to get it all together. I will be right back. Pardon the center. Why is anyone playing in your ass? Okay. 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 Thank you to the magic of a pause button. I'm brought back to you with less of an interruption than what was necessary. See, it's much easier when you use two hands. Okay. Yeah, I, put gotta, it on. I gotta suck you And see, boom, you're ready to go. Um, and for quick dismount. So, boom, there you go. Um, if you wouldn't mind, that would be awesome.
Oh, I'll put it on upside down. Now, I got one question. Here is the chest mount, or back mount, however you want to put it. I put it on, tried it on yesterday. It fits me pretty good, although I am very small, but it is stretchy and flexible. Here's the watch mount, or the watch and the Velcro strap, which you mount it to your wrist or whatever. And this one, which is a slightly newer model, it seems, has a light that tells you when it's doing things and which one you're doing. And this right here is your waterproof mount. It's got buttons and everything so you can operate the cameras fully if necessary. That's how it opens up. And then it comes in this little handy carry bag. But once again, this video is brought to you in large part thanks to Jim the Trucker. So if anyone knows the guy and is not subscribed to him, please go and subscribe to him. Let him know he's an awesome guy. And he's, he does a lot for this community. If you guys will just reach out to him, make sure you're subscribed. And if there's any way at all possible, just let him know how great of a guy he is. He's awesome. He's an amazing guy. I met him over the weekend at the Georgia trip, and he's an amazing guy, guys. He really is. But thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. This is a static recording. This is not a live. So thank you for tuning in. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. If you are into this, this is the Asako uh, EK7000 4K Wi-Fi capable camera. Oh, yes, we got to show you. It's how to go through the Wi-Fi. I about forgot about that. Okay, so I'm going to turn the camera back on. It's got a quick power-up set. Uh, thing. Oh, and it does not come with a memory card. You have to provide your own for that. Um, it's got two charging ports. Well, it's got a micro USB charging port and an HDMI output port. So I guess for you to use it for maybe streaming or something. It's an action camera. It has the remote. It says right here. Your shutter button. And then on this side, it's got an up and down button. Your menu button is your mode button and also your power button. Short clicks changes the modes. There's the setting menu. You click the shutter button for the entry. And this is the options on the menu. And for you to turn the Wi-Fi on, you just get to the photo mode or video mode and click down. It says Wi-Fi on. Then you connect your device to the Wi-Fi on this camera. So you go and search for the Wi-Fi. It should say, say iCam or something like that and then when it connects you'll be able to use this as a remote connection and view your screen on a different a distant location and also you can use your phone as a remote to turn the camera on and off turn the Wi-Fi off with the same button if you go up you can view this the videos and things we're gonna go and click this one that's where I was testing it out some even in the dark I'm gonna watch this one. That was actually the first video I shot with this camera. There's some of me walking around as a body camera. You can fast forward. So you can zoom through some of the footage.
But thanks again to Jim the Trucker. He knows how to get them. He knows where to find them at and where all this stuff is. So if you're interested in any of this stuff, contact him. He might be able to help you out with figuring out where to order it from. I think he knows uh, where. I know he order, knows where to order it at. Um, so you'd have to get in touch with them to figure out where that is exactly. Um, other than that. Once again, man, thanks for helping me out with this, and thanks for making this video possible. I really appreciate it, man.